Welcome back to Cajun Towboater Reviews. My name is Bo, aka the Cajun Towboater, and today is episode 12 of Horror Figure Wednesday, and we have Frankenstein's Monster. This is the colored one, it's not the black and white one. Um, I do plan on getting the black and white one, but if I do one review, it's I mean, it's everything's the same, it's black and white, just the same as this one. Um, I won't do a review on the black and white one. Um, same thing if I get the black and white mummy and the black and white of. Uh, well, I think I have the black and white mummy. If I get the color, uh, I think that one just maybe black and white. If I get the black and white Wolfman uh, figure, I'm not going to do a review on it. Uh, but yes, uh, this is a great movie. If y'all have not seen the old Universal Monster movies like from 1931, 32, stuff like that. You need to watch them. I have them on uh, Blu-ray and Steelbook, and I love them. Uh, Boris Karloff as the monster, as Frankenstein's monster, is great in here. He even hates how in Bride of Frankenstein they made Frankenstein's monster, they made the monster to speak. He didn't like that. But I do like this movie. So let's see, we got the front of the box. Frankenstein with, Frank, with the monster in the front Dr. Frankenstein and on the inside we got the monster comes with two extra heads um, two extra sets of hands the flowers and the cuffs um, yeah and that's all it comes with so let's go ahead and oh sorry Back of the box. It's got different poses uh, with the different heads. Frankenstein. It's got the figure right there. The side of the box. It's got the figure with the Universal Monsters and NECA. So yeah, let's go ahead and move this over to the desk. But before that, let's go ahead and cue the intro. y'all here is Frankenstein's monster out of the box and on the turntable so he comes with two extra heads one with a little goofy grin with a smile the other with a smirk he also comes with two flowers if you know about the movie then you know where where these flowers come into play got some handcuffs and he's got two sets of hands one where they're wide open and one where he's pointing one where you can hold the flowers all right now if you have not seen this movie on y'all need to watch it um this isn't the black and white one this is more the colored one um, I do plan on getting the black and white one, but like I said, there's no point in doing a review on the same figure just because it's black and white. Um, but if you have not watched this, uh, the story behind it is in a, in a village of the Bavarian Alps, Henry Frankenstein and his assistant Fritz, a hunchback, piece together a human body. Some of the parts are from freshly buried bodies and some from the bodies of recently hanged criminals. In a laboratory he's built with a uh, inside a watchtower, Henry desires to create a human given the body life through electrical devices. He still needs a brain for his creation. At a nearby school, Henry's former teacher, Dr. Waldman, shows his class the brain of an average human being and the corrupt brain of a criminal for comparison. Henry sends Fritz to steal, Fritz to steal the healthy brain from Waldman's class Fritz accidentally, Fritz accidentally damages it, so he brings Henry the corrupt brain. And then they bring the monster to life. Um, he ends up having, even though he looks grotesque, he has a um, childlike demeanor. And um, 
he welcomes it into his laboratory. He has it. He asks it to sit. It does. He um, reaches towards the sunlight whenever he opens the the roof. When Doctor Frankenstein opens the roof, he um, is scared of fire. And um, at one point in the movie, he he escapes from the watchtower and he meets a little girl and they're playing with roses and with flowers which is where these come in play and they're throwing them in the water and after they throw all the flowers the monster picks up the little girl and throws her in the water he realizes what he does wrong after the little girl drowns but then after this, they hunt him down. So let's go ahead and um, get this figure off of the turntable and we'll go ahead and check him out. All right, we got him off of the turntable, so let's go ahead and check him out. So he's got, I mean, it still kind of looks like black and white, but this is more from whenever they colorized everything. Um, he's got, uh, dirtier looking skin because he's pieced together from from different uh, body parts from different corpses um, he's got the big boots I mean he looks just like Boris Karloff um, did in the in the makeup and everything and Boris Karloff did a great job of that um, at this as this character as well as Imhotep um, in the mummy um, his the outfit looks great I see no imperfections on it uh, yeah he looks good um, I see no cause for concern saying that like they messed up here they messed up there nothing it, it looks great so let's go ahead and check the articulation his head he can look up that much he can look down that much He's got a ab crunch, he can go that forward, that much forward, and that far back. He can do a full 360 at the shoulder. He's got a single jointed elbow, which was, this was kind of like last week's with the Jason, um, Jason lives Jason, you can't do much with uh, the way the jacket is, his long sleeve is. Alright, his hand, he can go down that much, go up that much, he can split that much, he's got no bicep swivel, he's got no thigh swivel, single jointed knee, it's a little stiff, he can kick out that much, his foot, his feet do not move. They don't have much play on them because it's just big blocks, basically. Um, he's got a knee swivel. Um, let's see. No ankle swivel, but uh, he does have an ankle pivot. So yeah, my overall, I mean, I give because Frankenstein was one of my favorite movies. I'm waiting for them to do a Bela Lugosi Dracula But Frankenstein is one of my favorites as well. Um, I give this one a 9.5 out of 10 It's I love it. It's great. No imperfections that I can find It's just it's it's an awesome figure So yeah, um like comment subscribe. Let me know what y'all think about the figure. Let me know what y'all like about it Let me know what y'all didn't like about it and um, We can discuss it in the comments you can search Cajun Tobo Reviews on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And you can find me on there. I've also started a new channel called Cajun Tobo Plays, where that's where all my gameplay will be. So if you like um, watching gameplay videos, you'll be able to uh, watch them on there as well. You can watch and subscribe. But other than that, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. And... Thanks for coming out. <laughs>